everybody, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend. Today we are talking about the Noe Outdoor Camera. That's right, in this unassuming box we have the Noe Outdoor Camera right there. So what are we going to do? We're going to open this box, we're going to see what's inside, and we're going to check this puppy out. So don't touch that dial, stay right here as we check out the Noe outdoor camera. It works with the Noe camera app. There we go. Okay people, now it's time for another edition of What's in the Box. What's in the box? We have the Noe Cam Outdoor. This is a 1080p camera, waterproof, motion detection, two-way audio, and night vision. You can store your video locally, or you can store it in the cloud. It's model number IPC200. Let's open the box. Cue the music, Phil. Noe Outdoor Cam. Information card. Stickers. So let's see what we got in the box. We have a charging block. A power block right there. Mounting bracket. Wire holders. Screws. And anchor the camera itself. It's a very stylish camera. And there we go. That's the lens itself. So as you can see, it's a nice looking lens. Looks like there's a series of IR lights in there. There's a hole there that looks like a microphone, and then that looks like a speaker. This is a very stylized camera. So you can adjust it here. You can turn that there. So that's very cool. The camera's not super heavy. And it looks like we have plenty of USB cord to attach it for power. Alright, so what do we get in the box? We got the Noe camera. Mounting bracket. All the screws and things that you would ever want to mount a camera, a power block. Looks like some stickers and then an instruction manual. So there we go. So what are we going to do? We're going to hook this puppy up and see how it works. Alright, so now we're going to download the Noe Smart Cam application. All right, so we're gonna do Noe Cam. We're gonna install it. We're gonna hit open up the cam. All right, we're gonna create an account.
Now we're going to add a camera. So we're going to add the 1080p Noe camera right you here. You see the red light flashing. The red light is right here. It's flashing. So it is on. And then we're going to have to go into our Wi-Fi. And you hit next. Alright, so once you've entered the password for your Wi-Fi, you're now going to wait to get the light to start flashing red. And it's this little light right here on the front of the Noe cam. Then you take it in front of the QR code and you should get a steady white light. And there we go. We have a white light right now. It's flashing fast. Not steady yet. Oh, you're going to turn steady white. Please go to the next step. So there we go. Nice little music and a steady white light on the front of the camera. Right there. So we're going to hit next. And it says pairing, please wait. And there's some cute little animation there. Let's change. Put the camera lens in there. So then it takes you through an installation video, tells you how to install the camera and where you're putting it. And that's kind of cool. So let's see, we're going to say, name your camera. Uh, we're going to say, we're going to create a custom name. My wife wants a camera in the backyard, so we're going to call it backyard. And now we have the Noe camera installed into the Noe app, and we're going to see how it works here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, all right, holding the Noe cam, you can see the perspective of the picture, the clarity of that picture right there. That's pretty good. You can record a video once you give it permission, and you have a live shot of the Noe cam. That's right, a live wow. shot. And here we go. So we're recording this right now on the Noe cam. The white light right here shows that that's its recording value, I do believe. And then we hit that again. It stops and saves the video. And cool. And now we're going to take a picture. Nice little feature there. It takes a picture. That's the alarm feature. It's irritating. I guess it would work. It wasn't what I was expecting. It sounds kind of like a dog and some type of bird rolling around and fighting. Look at the settings now. Motion detection. So right now there's no motion detection. But you can click this to set up a motion detection alert. And now we're going to set it to low. Okay. It's detected motion already. So it's already detected motion. Sound detection. So if there's a loud sound, then it should pick up the sound. There, the voice detection. So I take through the voice. All right, that's good. Storage. We're gonna go with the SD card. Camera sharing, so you can share it with a different person. All right, so we're gonna look at the Noe camera. We're gonna set it up and we're gonna see how uh, it actually records on the outside, how hard it is to hide this wire and how we're going to run the power into the house. That's the other going to be the quick thing. Uh, because if we want this in the backyard, the power is going to have to come back into the house. All right, so we have the Noe cam installed in the backyard. You can see the wire runs down and then goes into the house. The same um, hole that we have to run the antenna in. And that power cord goes to those lights. 
But the power block didn't seem like it was an outdoor power block, so we wanted to have it on the inside. Um, so I ran it from here and carefully got it down into that hole. And then we put it through the house and then into antenna block. Now I notched a slight hole in the side so the wire could go out and then go into the socket. And in the future, we're gonna put a surge protector right here instead of that funky uh, multi -block. We're gonna check out some video or how it looks and captures the backyard. So please forgive my backyard. It's way under maintenance lately. And I have teenagers. Now this is the Noe camera view of my backyard. You can see it captures pretty much most of the yard. It's gonna capture people coming in from over there, you know, over there, and everything. So let's put this into a different perspective. Let's see if it flips over. There we go. All right, so you can see that it gets a good deal of the backyard. We are missing that slight corner, and I could try to adjust it a little bit so I get less of this corner and more of that corner. I think it would capture everything. Um, but at this point in time, this was my wife's main concern, was the immediate door area. All right, I'm about 50 miles away from my home. I just got off work. So we're going to look at the backyard camera by Noe, the outdoor camera. We're going to check out what it looks like. So we just loaded it into the app, and now we'll go to a nice big view of it. All right, and here we go. So it looks like everything is working very well. The infrared seems to be clicking in really nice lighting up that whole section right here that's pretty awesome um, you can pinch in to see a particular area it makes my backyard look horrible right now uh, you can see the plants I was able to adjust the camera and you can't really see it here but in the right hand corner uh, you can see the Far, far corner beyond the post and that's cool um, if someone walks into the patio towards the door their head will pop up in this area by the front area of the camera it's at that right position there and then you capture something coming over the fence um, if something came over the fence so it's a good perspective for the camera in my backyard um, even though it makes my backyard look really gross right now. So that's the Noe from 50 miles away using the cellular connection to my Wi-Fi, and that's pretty cool. So hopefully that's, uh, that's awesome. So now you got to see the Noe Home Cam, outdoor cam, installed into the app. This 1080p cam uh, does exactly what you would imagine it to do with the application. The connectivity of it is very nice. I liked how it connects outside of the home. The usefulness of the skill, the app. Uh, you can pinch, you can expand, you can move around within the frame to zero in. It is a digital zoom, not a optical zoom, uh, but it doesn't let you over pixelate it to a point where it's not usable. So this is a hard camera to install. Uh, by no means, uh, the bracket is pretty simple. I have a stucco house, so I used the little guy and I put it in there. The only thing I did differently is I put the anchors in and I used epoxy to make sure that they stayed with, rigid within the stucco. Uh, because I live in a styrofoam cup with stucco on it. It's a good deal of the backyard and with a little adjustment, I was able to get from corner to corner, even though I have a post in the middle of it, because that's my fault of where I was in. I also got it to the point where when someone walks in front of it, if they're oh, directly in front, the head will trip it off. So I'm capturing people in my backyard like my wife wanted. And that's cool. The style, the look of the cam, it's very nice. I like it. It's very classy. Um, 
So if the look of a camera is important to you, this is great. It's uh, for my backyard. It's perfect. It doesn't kind of jump out and be obnoxious to the camera. Uh, right now we're using a 32 gig uh, SD card in the camera and that works just fine. We used a class 10 SD card. Um, it seems to work perfectly with the camera. So that's cool. Um, overall functionality, uh, there's nothing to complain about. Installation was easy of the application. Uh, installation into the house, um, I wanted it to run a certain way. Uh, I already had a hole for my antenna that came down, so I just paired them up and ran it through the hole so that the antenna would be in, the charging block would be inside the house. Uh, that's the only thing that looks like the charging block does need to be uh, inside or at least protected because it doesn't look like it's going to be usable outside. It uh, doesn't look waterproof. So that would be my biggest complaint is that the charging block does not appear to be waterproof. But um, I think you would want the charging block inside the house anyways. Just saying. Um, I like the camera. It's a nice camera. It's reasonably priced. It works just like it's supposed to. I would have loved to see the Noe Home a camera go into the Noe Home application instead of the Noe Cam application. Uh, but, you know, the application works just fine. But I think merging them together would have been awesome. But other than that, if you're expecting something, this camera does exactly what you would expect it to do. And it looks good. If you're interested in the Noe Cam, the IPC200, I put a link below where you can find it, along with all the specs and details. This is Bruce with Hudsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel. Share me with a friend. Ring the bell for future notifications. Give me a thumbs up because thumbs up are very important to the YouTube world. It means that someone out there thinks this video should be saw by other people. And I appreciate that. So, this is Bruce with Hudsaker Home Hacks, and I will see you soon. So now you get to see the ne la 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 la. So you sitting there subscribe. So if you're interested in the video, the, 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 right there, hit it. Let's take your finger. See you soon.